Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, and I'll just put your check check. Noise cancellation on. Oh, so nice. Torrance ground, experimental sling 328 Echo Mike at pump for uh, runway 298 with hotel. Sling 8 Echo Mike, Torrance at ground, runway 298, taxi Echo Alpha Julia. Echo Alpha Julia, 298, thanks. 8 Echo Mike. You're welcome. Very nice and polite. So there's the tower, so when they're talking to us, they're talking to us from the tower right there. That way they can see us. Okay, so we've got to work out how to go over to Lita, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we're all good. Uh, we've got Catalina in. Okay, all set. Torrance Tower, experimental sling 328 Echo Mike, holding short 29 at right, four straight out departure. Sling 328 Echo Mike, straight out departure approved, follow the set to up wind, runway 29 at right, cleared for takeoff wind 2808. Uh, clear for takeoff 29 at right, follow the Cessna, thanks. Hey, Echo Mike. Good to go. Ready to go. <laughs> okay, so when this gets to 55 here, we're going to pop a sling traffic to the party and we pull back on this. Right, what? Niner Lima Papa, clear for the option. Right. Yeah. Sling 864 Sierra Lima, right down with departure approved. Wind 28010, runway 29 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 29 right, uh, 864 Sierra Lima. Okay, so, it's PCH. Cool, we're going to do this thing. Okay, put that on there. <laughs> Pop this in the climb. Yeah, see that? Okay. There's Toledo right there. Oh, Feel. yeah, I see the solar panels. There's Toledo! There you are down there. Off the you off the swim traffic just below and Whoa, and here the we are over the ocean. Swing 8 Echo Mike, frequency change proof. Seth has you in sight so today. Cool. Uh, uh, thanks for your help, 8 Echo Mike. PV traffic, uh, 8 Echo Mike is uh, PV point, uh, southbound, uh, 1,000 feet PV. So pretty. Like so still, like the air is nice and calm. There you go, I'm going I'm to tip us to the side in a second so you can see the lighthouse. Oh there you go. Terrain ahead. Oh, wow. Terrain <laughs> ahead. Woo. Woo. Oh, my God. Oh, what's happening? Don't oh. Me. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> oh. Oh, that feels fun. That was not fun. <laughs> you want to fly? So you just hold this with your right hand. Okay, now, um, yeah, let me trim that a little bit. Okay, now the aircraft is yours, so I'm not doing anything now, you're fine. So if you pull back a little bit, we'll go up. Okay, that's good enough, I don't want to do any more. It's pretty easy though, right? Yeah, okay, to it. you can do the rest. Okay. <laughs> Uh, PV practice area, sling, Adeco Mike is Trump Golf Course, 1400 feet uh, climbing and outbound Catalina. PV. So we used to make little announcements on the radio uh, just to let people know where we are and what we're doing. So, for example, like if I didn't want to fly right now, if uh, you know, I wanted to use the autopilot, I could just uh, make sure the autopilot's turned on, yes, uh, press heading, heading bug. Uh, and then engage it. Now I can steer it using this little knob. Wow. So we're going to continue to climb. Now I can change how, how fast we climb. So I can say vertical speed, and I want to climb a little bit faster maybe. Wow, it really is warm up here today, isn't it? Yeah. So 
pretty. Uh, so right now we're at 3,000 feet. We're climbing to 5,500 feet. We're climbing at about 1,000 foot a minute, doing 100 knots. So, you know, very good performance. And... It just keeps going. Yeah, we'll just do it. Now, when it gets when it gets to the correct altitude, altitude, it'll automatically level out all by itself. Wow. Okay, so now it's getting to the correct altitude. It's going to just level out, yeah. out all by itself. Wow, that's amazing. Catalina traffic, Sling 8 Echo Mike is overhead two harbours. Uh, we'll um, uh, join right traffic, runway 22 on the downwind, Catalina. Throws me off having a different call sign. So pretty. Somebody live out there? Is that somebody's house? Uh, yeah, looks like there's some grapevines there even. Yeah. Okay, one, fuel. Actually got the left tank. Catalina traffic, sling 8 Echo Mike is turning base, right traffic 2-2, two, two, Catalina. There's a big air pocket there. Sling at Echo Mike is clear of the active uh, Catalina. After landing, Ali came with us to the tower so that we could pay our landing fee. Hi there, we're 328 Echo Mike. Yes. Next, we went for a quick walk around the airport and restaurant and grabbed some food before heading back to Torrance. Before flying with Allie to Catalina, we took her for a full tour of our facilities at Sling Pilot Academy. So cool! So this is Stuart. So Stuart Hi, came Stuart. from Idaho. Hi, Allie. Allie? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He came through the academy and now he's an instructor. Very cool! Yeah. So these are all the aircraft that are here. We've gotten most of them just in the last couple of years. And then, like, do you just go buy a plane? So we, we're actually the dealer for this aircraft. So Sling Academy not only trains pilots, you are also a authorized dealer of airplanes. Yes, yes. We sell these aircraft, we train in them, we service them, and we build them. So I'll show you all of it, yeah. Wow. Hi, I'm Allie. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you wow. drove from Alaska. You did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I ask a silly question? What's that? Like, could you see like bears while you were flying? Oh, absolutely. Polar bears? Tons of, uh, not where I was at. I was okay. too far south to okay. see polar bears, but uh, tons of, of uh, uh, brown bears and uh, lots of uh, sheep, doll sheep. You could see caribou, you could see all kinds of stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got a flight, so okay. it was nice Bye. meeting you. Bye. This used to be our classroom here, but now we've got a like air-conditioned soundproof classroom. These are all our aircraft here. So each one of these is, a, is an aircraft, and then th these are the bookings for the day. So if sure. they want to learn, they have to come ahead and book on the airplane. Mm. And like Stuart, who we were just talking to, he's booked all day. Aww. And this is Brandy, who we were just talking okay. to. So and she's got to go take Fred. Yeah, so she's been to fly with Fred. Uh, so we've got some little classrooms upstairs. So for every one of those seven ratings, they have to do a thing called a check ride. So they have an examiner and the examiner will come and fly with them. So he'll do an oral exam. So they'll sit in one of the little classrooms upstairs there. The examiner will ask them questions and they, that could be for an hour or two hours or three hours or four hours. And then he's gonna fly with them. So the normal program is nine months. So in nine months you get all of the ratings you need to go to the airlines or become a corporate pilot or you know, go find the military, 
but it's basically a nine month program from start to finish. Well, some people do come in with their private pilot's license, in which case it's a six month course. Okay. So this is a simulator. The instructor has full control of everything that's going on from outside of the simulator. He can fail instruments, he can make breakers pop, he can uh, change weather, you know, he's got full control of everything. Does this um, simulator also shake? It does, it moves, yeah. Oh my gosh. That, that picture over there, to put our aircraft to the test, we've flown around the world multiple times. So Jean, our partner who you haven't met, he's actually in French Valley right now. He did a 27 hour Atlantic Ocean crossing in one of our little Sling 2 aircraft. It took 27 hours yeah. to cross the ocean. Like, where did he take off and where did he land? Uh, re from Rio de Janeiro to uh, Cape Town, I believe. Was it Cape wow. Town? Yeah. So I've done some long trips with them too. So in that plane there, we did non-stop from here to Florida. We did non-stop from here to Oshkosh. And can you land this at like a regional airport or international? Any of them. So Any airport. We've landed that plane at LAX. Before. Okay, you can yeah. do that. Yep. Same runway that the commercials fly on? Yes. Yep. We're just a little guppy coming in. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, when we landed at LAX, they had to divert a 747 because they weren't expecting us to come in quite so slow. Is it a little classroom? So the teacher's teaching and they're usually, they all have their laptops usually, right? Yeah, so a laptop or iPad. And are they still learning um, like to read maps, like traditional paper maps as well? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So like here's a chart. So during the, during the class, they'll be pulling out charts. Um, this one here is for instrument flying. Um, so that's for a, an instrument class. Yes, yeah, so we keep our classes nice and small so that people get individual attention. How many then, students? So there's usually maybe about 10 or 12 people in here okay. at any time. And then we do Zoom as well. So at the same time we're teaching here in person, we have other people attending via Zoom. Oh, cool. And then how much is it per course do they pay or is it per it's an entire just program. Uh, so it's about $65,000 for the nine month course. And, and honestly, if you compare that to, like, if, if you go to college. That's uh, per if, year if you, for four years. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so that's the whole lot. And then you're getting paid. So the minute you finish your training and you become a CFI, a certified flight instructor, we start paying you $30 an hour. You sure. can see they're fully booked. Yeah. Um, and, you know, then they build their hours to move on to the airlines. To go to the next thing. Wow. And can people apply for scholarships for flight school? They can. Uh, so we do a we do a scholarship, a twenty thousand dollars scholarship every year. Uh, so like on slingpilotacademy.com, you can apply for our scholarship. That's very cool. <laughs> so pre-COVID, this would be pretty busy out here. Yeah. So now a lot of people will kind of come fly and then head home. Okay. We've got student accommodation for people out of state. Oh. So we've got apartments and houses. Did you know they cut people's shirts when they first solo a plane? No. Oh, so this is yesterday. So Angel spot soloed uh, yesterday. He flew by himself for the first time just yesterday. And so that's the shirt he was wearing? That was the shirt he was wearing, so you cut the back out. And it's because in old times, before we had radios and everything else, they would, they would tug on the, the shirt of the student pilot to tell them what to do. So the idea of doing this is like they're on their own now. You're not, you're not oh controlling them anymore. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> These so are all, cool. all people that have solid, yeah. That's amazing. We have a gym. Love it, you gotta stay fit. Yeah, so when people get tired of hitting the books, they yes. can hit the gym. Yes. People don't always realize, but uh, you've gotta, as a pilot, you've gotta understand how it all works. Yes. So that you can make decisions if things go wrong. So we call it learning about systems. And the best way to learn about systems is to have everything open like this to where you can really see what's going on. And so it comes from South Africa in a big box. Yeah. So Lou is actually like a private customer Hello. and he's building his own plane. Yeah. Thanks to these guys. <laughs> Ali, Lou. Okay. Nice to meet. I'm uh, the librarian at Toledo Elementary School. So many people don't realize, and for your students, you should fly simulators. So if you're interested, interested in aviation, get Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane. But if you can fly a simulator, you can fly a plane. So we had, a, we had a, one of our students, Andrew, uh, turned up just a, a, a couple of months ago. He got on the plane with Brandy. He started up the plane, he taxied out, he took off, he flew the pattern, he landed, and, and Brandy said, you're already a pilot. Like, <laughs> what, what's going on? He said, 
as he said, I oh, know I've never flown a plane before, but I've got 300 hours in a simulator. Wow. So, I mean, he's he just uh, flew through his training because wow. it, it's harder to fly a simulator than it is to fly a real plane. Hmm. So, go get a sim. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Enjoy your, yeah. your project. Yeah, this is Lou's engine here. Wow. $38,000 for that little puppy. It just comes in a box. That's it, comes in a box. <laughs> Look at how light these parts are. Let's try lifting that up. Whoa, that's very light. Yeah. And Lift. can you choose your own, whatever color you want yep. your airplane? You it your it doesn't airplane. matter. Yeah. Like you can have a bright green airplane if you want. Yeah, any color, any design. So every day we've got multiple aircraft in here being serviced. These guys here start at 6 a.m. and if it's getting a 50 hour service, it's probably going to be back up and flying by 10 a.m. Once you've got the fuel tank off. Oh. Normally, they, the schools use 50, 40 and 50 year old Cessnas. Like if you were getting your driver's license right now, would you go buy a Bedford van from the 1960s to learn in? Or would you learn, rather learn in a modern two seat sports car? Yeah, you and know. what's it called? This is a Sling 2. Oh, it's your own? It's our own, yeah. Uh, these are more cost effective to operate, they're more fun to fly, uh, and they're safer. So we've got what's called a glass cockpit. So uh -huh. instead of all the old round dials, the old, what, what uh -huh. we call steam gauges, uh -huh. it's all it's like using an iPad. It's all touch screen, it's, and, and you'll see when we fly, there's just no comparison between the old and the new. Very cool. So normally these would be our planes all out here, but they're all in the air right now. Oh, good. <laughs> this is one of ours, this is a, it's not a sling, but it's what we do our twin engine training in. Oh. This one's just waiting on new engines right now. It's got uh, normally the engines in here and then there's a propeller here, but oh, um, okay. it's just waiting on a new one right now. Okay. And is it, does it feel different when you're, I mean, I'm sure it does, but when you're taking off in that plane versus this plane, does it feel very different? It does, yeah. 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 But normally this is what you'd be landing in, something like this. <laughs> Vintage. Yeah, and it We've got our own fuel trucks. Got to fill them up at Costco. Do you seriously? <laughs> yeah, we do, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cool. We hope you like the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Go on.